finally tonight to the schools that are trying to raise tens of thousands of pounds to protect its pupils from pollution. The playground at St Mary's in Chiswick has some of the dirtiest air in London thanks to the main road running beside it. But now teachers there want funds to grow a new hedge they believe will soak up most of the toxins. Amy Lewis went along to see their plans. For these children, playtime is also pollution time. They are breathing in four times more than the recommended limit. A school is just yards from the A4 in Chiswick, a six-lane dual carriageway that's used by 100,000 vehicles every day. No one really likes the air like here because it kind of smells and it just, it just doesn't like the odors. Well, it sometimes makes me cough and makes other people cough. No, please! This wall isn't just used as a climbing frame, it's also a barrier to stop the pollution. St Mary's and its neighbouring school want to replace it with this, believing foliage would block more of the fumes. This playground is used by around 800 children and staff every day. It's surrounded by two primary schools, William Hogarth and also St Mary's. Now all that separates this playground and the children that use it to the pollution from the A4 is this wall. By creating a green barrier, the community believes they will cut pollution by around 40%. It's very easy to say, you know, the government is not doing enough or, you know, it's all bad, it's all bad. Well, let's start to do something now, you know. That's what I'm trying to do. That's the whole community is kind of, you know, uh, is, is, is running towards this thing. And we, we, we hopefully, you know, little step, baby steps, baby steps. A year ago, the school discovered the pollution levels were so dangerous, they took drastic measures before and after school. I had to introduce a soft start, which means the children come straight into school. There is no playtime before the school day begins. That is a very sad reality, but it ensures that our children are not breathing in those pollutants during rush hour. The mayor has promised to give them £32,000 if the school can raise 45000 themselves by mid-December. Hopefully then, rush hour won't restrict when these children can play. Amy Lewis, ITV News.